One New Mexico mayor is trying to figure out what to do with an odd piece of his city's history. A former resident recently gave him a stuffed alligator. And the story behind it is pretty bizarre. News 13's Francesca Washington shows us. We always played in the ditch and went swimming in the ditches and never thought about an alligator being in the ditch. But this alligator learned the hard way. Ditches are deadly in Belen. It's kind of a mystery as to where this one came from. John Craig says he was there 24 years ago when a middle Rio Grande Conservancy crew found this alligator while cleaning the ditch near his family's property along Highway 314 in Belen. It was going by doing its thing. One of the guys says, hey, what's that? And we could see something moving in the mud. Craig says the gator eventually stopped moving. So we all grabbed the alligator, put him in the back of the truck, and we were all standing around the truck checking him out and looking at how big he was and what, he, you know, just curious. And about that time, he opened his eyes and he started biting that cable in the back of the truck. The Conservancy decided to drive the alligator to the biopark, but the animal died on the way. Belen Mayor Jared Cordova says the gator was stuffed and eventually given to one of the employees who found it when he retired. He was moving out of town and uh, he decided at that point that he wanted to leave it somewhere with, uh, with the people of Belen. Cordova says he's had the gator for about a week. Right now it's sitting in the middle of his living room. He hopes to find it a good home. I'm trying to find a museum locally that wants to take it. We do have uh, the Belen Harvey House that's got a lot of Belen memorabilia, so I'm hoping it'll go there. But if that doesn't work out. You know, I don't know who else was here that day that, that we found that alligator. I don't remember the other guys that were here, but, you know, being one of them, I wouldn't mind having that alligator in my office. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. Now, the assumption is someone kept the alligator as a pet, and when it got too big, they dumped it. But 24 years later, no one knows for sure.